I beg your pardon if my English is not so good, but I really want to do this appeal. In Europe, there is a fire. A, a fire is raging through the house and someone is trying to put it out with a watering can. Like in Italy, where the parties are working towards an electoral constituency that is like the Greek one, or to enter the semi-presidentialism for the election of the President of the Republic, or again, to say that Article 18 of the Workers' Statute. Article 18, which is a legitimate battle, but even if Article 18 were said, would it improve the conditions of millions of workers, million, millions of temporary workers, entrepreneurs, pensioners, of young people who cannot find work. But what we are talking about, of puppets who come together to save face, forgetting the substance, of politicians who are vote beggars, trying not to disturb the manipulators of parties that have brought us to these conditions and are now trying to save face to appear less than appealing and once again deceive the misinformed voters. We're talking about guys who are trying to grab slices of cakes or crumbs until there are none. We are talking about the old men getting older of a return to the past. Those who don't practice what they preach, who recycle and try to regain their virginity. Let's talk about those using tactics in order to gain a suitable electoral weight. A weight that allows them to become attractive to the right or to the left or their satellites. To have a chair, a seat in parliament, in order to save their own skin. Their own skin, while the country sinks deeper and deeper. While government policy and the technical government sink Italy, sell it, break it to pieces, enslave it. But is it possible that we do not realize that while the fire blazes, there is a tender fire hydrant? The bureaucracy, the government of the euro, the banks, the European Central Bank is all about deception and keeping us prisoners, slaves in invisible chains, but always more oppressed. The debt, yes, the debt, a debt is an artifice, an offense, a deception with which they are killing people. Greece, Italy, Ireland, Spain, Portugal, they are crippling everyone. Can you feel the news? Have you noticed that the rope is getting tighter around our necks? Have you noticed that the ESM, a balanced budget, the European Redemption Fund, and without the drastic cuts to wages, salaries, pensions, the ability to undertake a new business, they are sending our future up in smoke. Yet, it is possible to act on the cancellation of debt, or at least its reduction or extension of time without interest. It is part of the international law, which I have written and documented in the book called La Guerra dell'Europa, which deals with the Greek example. Let the old and new Pied Pipers read it. Let's soften the eyes of the citizens. There is no more time to be fooled. And mind you, they know it. They know it. And they fear the people who know. Fear them so much that Monti has called on the President of the European Council to convene an emergency meeting in Rome against what the appointed senator for life and unelected prime minister has called creeping populism and anti-Europeanism. Yes, because Monti, 
who challenges the dictatorship of the financial and banking systems is a, a political problem and we need to avoid the emergence of this phenomena. For Monti, the populism and anti-Europeanism is a political problem. Have you heard? Do you understand? Those who do not blend will be broken. They will be silenced because it could hinder their end, leading to the disintegration of Europe's big business. But here in Italy, as in Greece, Ireland, Spain and Portugal, there are people who know, who are informed. In our countries, as in other countries, there are people who want to live and continue to live, who deserve and rightly demand a decent life for themselves and their children. Here are the people, the people of which Europe is not made. Here are the people who want to live in peace, justice, freedom and independence. What do you expect then? Lift your hat and break the chains.